Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys? And uh, I guess this live is going to be for whoever's still up this time of night. Let me just say this. It's not by coincidence, people of God, uh, that this live is on your timeline right now. There is something that God has really wanted to get to you. I have uh, quite a bit to talk about on tonight. Come on, people of God, if you can come in and begin to tag and share. Come on, eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what God wants to do in you guys and through you guys. Come on in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I got something uplifting and motivating for somebody who's on here you're on tonight. Come on, come on. First of all, you already know how I go. You, If you somebody who watch me, you know what I'm going to ask you to do out the gate. I'm going to ask you to tag and share. Why? Because tagging and sharing simply lets people know I need God, but baby, I'm praying for you too. Come on. I need you to tag. The number tonight is 15. Tag 15 people very quickly. Come on, pretty diamond. Do me a favor, sis. Put this in the group. Come on. Come on. I see Keisha is on. Coming out the gate swinging. See, these are people I'm connected to, so they already know what to do. Come Come on, I'm away. <clears throat> Y'all got to excuse my voice. I've been on consultations all day with real estate, helping people purchase their homes. Come on in. Come on in, people of God. Begin to tag and share. Baby, if you missed that live from this morning, baby, you need to go back and watch it. When I tell you, I pray the heavens down on behalf of everybody who was on live this morning, I'm telling you, you might want to go back and watch it. If you missed it, I'm telling you, God showed up and he showed out like never before. Y'all come on in and begin to tag and share. Come on, y'all know we're not going to get started. I need you to push a little bit. I know it's late at night. I usually come on at 10, you know, and everything like that. And it's 11 here. But I wanted to drop some wisdom um, in your spirit. I feel like this live is going to be for everybody on here tonight who needs it. Come Come on in and begin to tag and share. Come on, I'm away, I'm away. Let me call out some names from some obedient people. The Bible says that where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst. Blessings, Shanisa. Blessings, princess. Can I get y'all to tag and share? God bless you, Tara, for your obedience. God bless you, Tika, for your obedience. Come on. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It took a minute to build up an audience earlier today. Come on. Hey, Phyllis. I love you, sis. Come on. Hey, Shay Reddit. I love you, sis. Come on, y'all. Can I get y'all to tag and share for me? Because I'm going to go in tonight. I'm telling you. Oh, I feel God. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. If you missed that live from earlier today, you better go back and watch it. This morning's live. Oh, my God. There was a war cry. There was a breaker's anointing. And when I tell you... We went in on Jesus Christ. We went in this morning. You got to go back and watch that. When I tell you the fire of God swept the place. When I tell you God was so heavy. I literally had to call my husband from out of the living room and make him place his head on my shoulder as I laid hands on him while on live warring for him. I'm it, ooh, Jesus. God's spirit was there. Y'all come on in, tag and share. I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this morning's live was crazy. I never did that before. I prayed. I'm, I never did that on live before. I prayed for an hour straight. It was a breaker's anointing. It was so heavy. I called my husband from out the other side of the house to come in and lay his head on my shoulder while I placed my hand on his head and begin to pray. God is not playing in this season about us. I don't know about you, but baby, he ain't playing about me. If you are just now tuning in, hallelujah, tonight, hold on one second. Who is it? Me. Go in there with granddad. Okay, go tell Papa I'm on live, baby. My grandbaby up this time of night, Jesus. Listen, when I tell you we can't get no alone time, who? Become a grandparent if you want to. Um, but listen, you guys, um, God was dealing with my spirit on tonight and tonight's message. People of God 
is what are you asking for? I'm going to go there, but I need y'all to push just a little bit more. Come on. Just another three minutes. Blessings to your home, Lakeisha Couch, for being obedient. Blessings to your home, Sade, for being obedient. Blessings. Come on. To your home. Come on. 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 Blessings to your home. Come on, Sade. I need you to tag and share. Come on. 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 Hallelujah. Let's get in. Let's get in it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. At the end, Tara, I will, babe. Come on, I need you to tag and share. Blessings, Tara, for tagging and sharing. Come on, Latresa. God bless you. Let me do some more invites to this live. I don't usually come on late. Thank y'all with y'all pay for y'all patience. I promise you. If you hang in there, I swear to you, I'm telling you, I'm going somewhere. I'm gonna give you some clarity and some wisdom and some understanding on tonight. Come on, we almost there. Come on, just two more minutes, people of God. Come on, blessings. Let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Shakira McFadden. And I'm telling you, if you have not been on my live before, baby. Welcome on this live. Hold on, you guys, because I'm starting uh, TikTok also. Hold on, you guys. On this live, you're going to get realness. On this live, you're going to get uh, boldness. You're going to be able to tell the difference from sugar and salt. salt. Thank you, Belinda, for sharing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, you guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on and push. Come on. You know, TikTok take you through this whole process, honey. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We about to go in. We about to go in. Listen, tonight's message, people of God, thank you so much, Phyllis. I love you. Thank you for tagging and sharing. Alexander, blessings to your home for tagging and sharing. Come on, come on, just 60 more seconds. I need y'all to push. Come on, come on. I need y'all to push. And if you see me looking back and forth, people of God, it's because I got Facebook and TikTok going at the same time. Listen to me. I don't know who this message is going to be for on tonight. But I got a word specifically for you. And I believe that this word on tonight is going to be life changing. So when you lay down and get up, come on, I'm believing that it will be finished. The very thing you're needing God to do, it will be finished. As we begin to get into tonight's topic, hello everyone on TikTok, y'all, come on in, come on, share this live, come on, come on, we getting ready to go somewhere. Uh, as I begin to get before God on tonight and I asked him, what will I be speaking on on tonight? He said to ask the people of God, what are you asking me for? And I promise you, I'm going to take you on a journey, but if you just ride on cruise control with me for a moment, then we'll take off after. I said, God, what are you talking about? He said, ask them, what are they asking me for? What, what are you asking God for? What way are you asking what you're asking him for? And I began to get in the word and I said, you know, God, you got to give me a little more clarity because you know, when I do things, I like to break it all the way down. He said, ask the people of God, what are you asking me for? There are times people of God, we pray, pray, pray. There are times we cry, cry, cry. There are times we look for other people to come in agreement about certain things. But God told me to come and tell you, you ain't been praying right. Hold on. Come on, I promise you I'm going somewhere. Come on, on TikTok, I want to see the hearts. Come on, on Facebook, I want to see the hearts. Let me say this very quickly. The only way we can let the enemy know that you're coming in agreement with the words that are coming out of my mouth is simply by commenting back to back to back, hitting the heart button back to back to back to let the enemy know you are woke. Watch this. He said you ain't praying right. I know some of y'all said, what do you mean? I know how to pray. I grew up in the church. I watched my mom and daddy pray. God said, you have not been specific with your prayers. What are you saying, Evangelist Shakira? Let me give you a, 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 an example of what I'm talking about. A lot of you have been praying for God to send you your husband or send you your wife or send you a good man. Come on, somebody. But you ain't been specific with your prayers. God said this season that we are in is going to require you to be specific. What are you saying, Evangelist Shakira? Don't just pray for God to send you a good man. Pray for God to send you a good man. Come on with good credit. 
I'm just giving examples. Pray for God to send you a good man. Come on. Who's going to love on you. Pray for God to send you a good man. Come on. Who loves God. Pray for God to send you a good man. Who loves his children. Come on. I know what I'm talking about. Pray for God to send you a good man. Who can be your strength. Some of you watch this. Men are supposed to be providers and protectors. Could I be honest with you? Some men are so weak and I'm just being honest that you get in a situation. It's like you got to protect them. No, be specific with your prayers in this season. Somebody say, God, send me a good man. See, everybody ain't going to be on here and be honest on tonight, but we going somewhere. Everybody ain't going to be open. Why? Because we like to act like we got it all together. No, God, don't just send me anybody. I want to be specific with my prayers. Come on. I don't know who this is for. Come on. Some of you have been in relationships that have failed time after time after time. Come on. And you've done the same repeated thing. Come on. You was giving them husband. Come on. Access. Why they wasn't nothing but boyfriend. You was giving them husband access. Why they was nothing but baby mamas and baby daddies. You was giving them husband or wife access. Come on. Giving them access. What do you mean by that? They was driving your car. What do you mean by that? They were sleeping in your house. What do you mean by that? They was eating up all your food. What do you mean by that? You was out spending money on them. What do you mean by that? You was being faithful to them like you already carried their last name. God said you got to be more specific with your prayers. God says it's not that I don't want to send you the best of the best. Come on, I don't know who this is for. Oh, I dare you to put God send them. Come on, you shouldn't be embarrassed, baby. God said, he said, tell them they're praying. Come on, but, but they they not praying specifically. So then you get the counterfeit of what you're asking God for. Because you're not specific with what you need. You get the counterfeit of what you're asking God for. Because you're not specific with what you need. Come on, who am I speaking to? On oh, tonight, we got to be more specific with our prayers. And God say, if you be just a little more specific, he say, I can come on, deliver that package. When UPS is delivering a package to you, baby. When FedEx is delivering, better yet, when Amazon is shipping something to your home, they are specific with your address. Your name is there, baby. It's not just the street part. Come on. They even put a city and state and zip code. The next season you are going into, baby, you got to be more specific. What are you saying, Evangelist Shakira? Don't just ask God to send you friends. No, 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 no. Be specific with your prayers. God, send me friends that I can connect with, that are genuine. God, send me friends. Watch this, because a lot of y'all got these yes and amen friends. I don't want no yes and amen friends. Tell me when I'm wrong. Tell me when I'm doing something crazy. Don't have me out in these streets looking stupid. You down with my foolishness when I know what I'm doing is wrong. Y'all got to change y'all circle. Get next to some people who going to hold you accountable in this season. So don't just say, God, send me friends. No. The word friend ain't enough. Come on, you can meet somebody in 24 hours and say y'all friends. Come on. Can I be honest with you? Don't know nothing about them. 24 hours. That could be people you chatting with on the phone every day and you calling them friends. Baby, you don't know these people. You don't know these people. Be specific with your prayers. God, send me friendly people. Send me people that I can count on as much as they count on me. God, send me people who going to get down in the dirt with me. I'm telling you, I told a friend one time. I said, baby, I'm a different type of friend. Baby, I'm a different type of friend. I don't care if I'm up here. If my friend is down here, baby, and she's struggling on her knees, scuffling, trying to get it together or make it happen, baby, we're going to make it happen together. I'm that type of friend. You got to pray for people to come in your life like that. It's going to require you to be specific. If you are connected to only people who agree with your messiness, come on, can we, we all can be messy sometimes. If you only connected with the people who constantly saying, girl, are you right on boy are you right and everything no change your circle i'm specific with who i let get connected to me why because i need some people who gonna correct me when i'm wrong 
Be connected to people who can pull you up on another level. Be connected to people who going to say you doing stuff stupidly, man. You doing stuff backwards. You deserve the best. But watch this. You can't get there moving at the rate you're moving. It might require you to play chess a little bit. If you are just now tuning in, tonight's message, people, tonight's message, people of God, is what are you praying for? He said, tell the people of God, they are not specific enough. I got up this morning and God told me to get on live and pray. Oh, we was on for about an hour. We were going in. It was a breaker's anointing. We were breaking everything. It was so many people on. And so many people got blessed behind it. When I tell you God move, I want y'all to go back and watch that live. We got to get better in our prayer life. Be specific. I'm talking about when you tired of living the way you live. And I, I had to tell God, I said, God, let me tell you something. I was specific from behind bars. When I was locked up, I said, God, I, I don't know who you are. I, I know these people coming inside the cells and you know you got the pastors in the churches coming inside, but I don't know you personally. I know what they telling me you can do, but I just want to know you for myself. God saved me from getting these 15 years. I said, I'm going to trust you. I don't know who you are, but God, I'm going to trust you. And I was specific when I told Jesus to come into my heart. I was specific when I said, God, burn it out of me. Take it away from me. God, no, don't allow me to have cravings of sleeping with women anymore. God, take every thought away from me. Let me not have the urge to use drugs anymore. You got to be specific with your prayers. Some of y'all are battling situations. Let me tell you something. When I was living that fast life, baby out there getting money and everything like that going through bank lines baby selling drugs doing tax fraud all this negative stuff i was doing the money was good but could i be honest with y'all i was tired tired of looking over my shoulder tired of getting mug shot after mug shot if i had the wisdom i had now if you a hustler for the enemy man you can do it the right way i got to sit down Okay, God, now I want to become a real estate agent. Okay, God, I want to write that book. Okay, God, I want to go and tell the world just how real you are. I was specific with my prayers and he did them all. When do you get sick and tired of being in that state you in? I was tired of looking over my shoulder. I was tired of giving the system more of my time, being away from my kids. Let me tell y'all something. When the Holy Spirit began to deal with me, hey, Chambray, I love you, sis. When the Holy Spirit began to deal with me, I began to get more specific with what I asked them for. I'm talking about I wasn't the best prayer. I remember I would go and visit churches and things like that, and I'd be like, ooh, I want to pray in tongues like her. Or, ooh, God, let me get to a place where I begin to preach like her. Or, ooh, I wanted everything everybody else had. So I was praying wrong. Let me tell you something. The Bible says, people of God, and I don't know who this is going to be for. In James 4 and 2, the Bible says, you have not because you ask not. I know some of y'all are going to say, Evangelist Shakira, but I've been asking. I've been praying. I've been walking in faith. I've been telling God to fix my relationship. I've been telling God to fix my finances. I've been telling God to fix my health. I, I've been telling God to fix my children. Baby, you ain't praying enough. I love you, Diamond. My daughter is on. You ain't praying enough, baby. Some of y'all asking God for, for jobs. Be specific with your job. God, I, every time I put in the application, ain't nobody calling me back or they turning me down. God say, be specific when you pray this time around. Say, God, send me jobs I'm unqualified for. Because what do you do? You subpoena God for the next. God, send me a job. Baby, that ain't enough. God, send me jobs I'm unqualified for. Give me favor as I begin to fill out the application. Matter of fact, right now, if you would allow me to, I prophesy jobs in the atmosphere. Apply for something you ain't got no business applying for. Apply for something you ain't got no business applying for. But be specific with your prayers and watch God move. Watch God move. 
Come on, thank you for all the gifts and everything over on TikTok and all the hearts. Come on, let me know y'all with me. Keep those hearts coming. Keep those comments coming. I know what I'm talking about. I'm not saying you praying wrong. I'm just saying you're not going in depth with your prayers. I need you to be more specific. Don't just say, God, I'm praying for my children. Be specific and call out your children's name, Jesus Christ. Don't just say, God, I'm, I'm, I'm praying for my bills. Be specific and tell those bills they got to submit to the God you serve. Don't just say, God, I'm tired of living paycheck to paycheck. Be specific and say, God, I need an overflow. Come on. He, oh, Jesus, man, let me tell you something. You will find yourself looking for a job and nobody calling you back to having to stand there and choose which job you want. If you're specific with your prayers, the Bible say you have not because you ask not God. I need a house. God, I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get these people. I, I want this place, God, and, and the rent is kind of high. I don't have the deposit, God. Please help me get this apartment or this condo or this, 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 um, house I want, God, for rent. Please help me get it. And you wonder why you ain't got it yet. Maybe God is saying you praying for something so small. Do you not believe I can do something big? Some of y'all are praying for God to approve y'all for rent. And he's saying, I've been told you to step out on faith for your house. Man, y'all better catch this. Sometimes we pray for the wrong things. You praying too little. God is a big God. How do you trust something that you can't see? The same way you trust that man that you with or that woman you with. You can't see their every move. How do I believe in something that I can't touch? The same way you believe them people going to pay you on your job when you're there all week long at the end of the week on payday. How do I, 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 I trust God when he haven't moved yet? I've been playing, praying for this thing five months, a year, two weeks now. The same way you trust him for everything else. See, we got faith in what we want to have faith in. Come on. We got faith for what we want to have faith for. Come on. We got faith for what we want to have faith for. But can you believe God for the unbelievable? Some of y'all, y'all relationships haven't been mended or fixed yet, whether it's with your children or whether it's with, you know, your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, or uh, 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 your fiance, your baby daddy, your baby mama, whoever. The reason a relationship ain't working out is because, watch this, you ain't got no faith, no way. You pray about it, but you start worrying the minute you say amen. You pray about it, but you start worrying about it. Two seconds later, Mark 11 and 24 says, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe it, it shall be done. Mark 11 and 24 says, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe it and it shall be done. I'm not saying don't worry. I'm just saying be specific with your prayers. Somebody might have missed that. I'm not saying don't worry. Because we can't help it. Your flesh going to automatically worry. You going to worry. Listen, he told me he'll never cheat again. And you worrying about what he doing all day long. He told me he'll never leave me again. But you worrying about what's going on in his social media. He, he told me this and he told me that. Baby, pray a little bit different. Let me tell y'all. Could I be honest and give y'all a, a, a little story? Because I know y'all like, listen, Evangelist Shakira. What do you mean by praying a little different? I remember there was a time, right? Oh, Jesus. I'm going to tell this story. There was a time I was praying for God to keep my husband faithful to me, right? Some of y'all might who, who don't who don't know my story. Me and my husband was out there. We was having all kind of threesomes, you know, and everything like that. Before, you know, I got into God. And, you know, I would just 
you know, find women I was attracted to, bring them home to my husband. We'll do what we do, you know. And that was the life we was living. I got a husband, but I had girlfriends and everything like that too. I'm just, you know, honest and everything like that. And you know, um, um, eventually, you know, we decided we wasn't doing that anymore. But you know, later on down the line, my husband did some things I didn't agree with. I kicked him out of the house. He was for the streets, because sometimes these men can be for the streets. Sometimes these women can be for the streets too, if I'm just honest with you and you know everything like that right so I end up you know um, putting him out the house and boom he end up you know linking up with this another woman who he had met, you know, he say she was after his life. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he looked really, really, really good. My husband, fine, fine. You know what I'm saying? And I hope y'all husbands fine, fine to y'all too. But yeah, he ended up getting with the girl and everything like that. And, you know, was doing his own thing. And I'm home crying every day like, God, how could you still go to church, still singing in the choir, still believing God to fix my husband and fix my marriage. And he was just out riding and doing what he wanted to do. And he was you know dealing with her boom she end up you know having a child and just everything like that and you know when I was hearing from people I would come home from work and they'll be like girl your husband was just with this girl and just all kind of embarrassing stuff I remember getting on my knees praying one night I had been praying listen to me for months he was out of my house for months I have been praying, God, please fix my husband, God, you know, don't, don't allow him, you know, to be with somebody else, he mine, I put so much time in him, God, we've been married over a decade, please fix my husband, I hope this story bless somebody, I'm giving an example on praying different, and I have been crying and praying, and praying and crying, and I was just saying, God, please fix my husband, baby, let me tell you, one day I came home from preaching, Jesus Christ. I got in my room and began to pray and watch this. He would call and, you know, be checking on the kids and wanted to make sure nobody wasn't coming in the house and I was being with them, but he wanted to have his cake and eat it too. But, oh no, I couldn't be with nobody. Y'all know how that go, ladies. A man can never take what they do to you. Somebody ought to put amen in the comment section. So anyways, that night when I came home from prayer, I began to pray differently. I was specific with my prayers. It started in the shower. I began to pray to God there and the Holy Ghost began to fill me. So I began to cry. I remember getting out of the shower, wrapping myself in a towel, going on in, in my room on YouTube and putting on worship music. And I began to worship God because I got sick of sleeping in the bed alone, waiting on God to fix my relationship. But he was popping it and locking it and enjoying himself with another woman in the streets, I begin to pray. And as I begin to speak in tongues, people of God, as God begin to feel me, I begin to, to get specific. I begin to say, God, allow my husband not to cheat on me. God, don't even let his penis get hard. Come on. I know y'all like, what? No, it makes sense when you think about it. I was specific with my prayers. God, allow the sex to not be good anymore. God, if he on top of her and he inside of her, allow him to see my face when he looked down at her. God, I'm his wife. You said that a three-strand cord is not easily broken. Oh, I begin to pray like I lost my everlasting mind. God is saying, be specific with your prayers. Oh, come on now. Come on, TikTok. I need to see them hearts coming. Come on. I need to, I need to know y'all feeling me. Come on, it's 400 of y'all on TikTok watching right now. This late at night, come on. That means it's for somebody. But y'all got to let me know y'all there. Come on. I want everybody to start coming in. I'm here. I'm here. Come on. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Come on. This may be your first time on my live. When I move, you move just like that. The only way we can come in agreement and I'm saying some real stuff that's hitting home to you is by you coming and coming, coming like you done lost your everlasting mind. Come on. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. So my prayers went from crying all the time. God saved my marriage. God fixed my relationship. God, I kicked my husband out, but I thought he it was going to make him realize what he lost. God, I was trying to, to, to just show him that I'm sick of being a doormat. Come on, ladies. Y'all can relate. 
and nothing was changing. I want everybody to put nothing in capital letters. Nothing would change, was changing. Sometimes you can be praying to God for something, people of God, and it looked like nothing is changing. It looks like nothing is changing. Come on. I want to see the word nothing in capital letters. You can be asking God for something. You can be cry, crying, praying. It's not coming all out of your nose. Come on, screaming to the top of your lungs. Pulling your lace wig out. About to lose your everlasting mind. Come on. And nothing happens. If you are just now tuning in, tonight's message is, God said, what are you asking me for? Nothing. Thank you for the gift over on TikTok. Nothing is happening. It's because you're not specific enough. I prayed for God to fix my husband, Jesus. But I wasn't specific enough. So I began to pray a little bit different. God, please do this. God, please do that. God, allow this to happen. God, allow that to happen. And watch this, people of God. Never forget the day I got the phone call. And he said, I'm so sorry. I want to come home with my family. I don't know what I was thinking. He, he begged and he cried. And you know us. We got to act hard a little bit sometimes. Nah. Because you try me, I'm going to find somebody else. You're going to feel what I'm feeling when the, the, the next man laying in your bed. When you seeing the next man around me and your children. Come on, you're going to feel some type of way. Nah, baby, it's time to get even. And I ain't have to do that. So I was like, uh-uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to let you know. Because I got to see what God say first. Because I think it's time for me to move on. But I really just wanted to emotionally get back. So when I started praying differently, people of God, when I started being more specific with my prayers, God began to move for me. James 4 and 2 says, you have not because you ask not. I'm not saying you ain't praying right. I'm just saying be more specific with your prayers. God, I'm so tired of living paycheck to paycheck. God, I don't have enough. I'm sick of being broke. Some of y'all telling people y'all broke every single day. The devil is a liar. I don't want you saying that anymore. Say my funds are just unavailable at the moment. Because you don't even understand. You prophesying over yourself. You praying negative on your own downfall. Stop telling people I can't go. I'm broke. I don't got it. I'm broke. I can't do it. I'm broke. No baby. Your funds are just unavailable. Why? Because God got a blessing with your name on it. I'm, listen. Usually I come on here who and, and hollering. Today I'm on cruise control because I really need y'all to understand the power of prayer. I need y'all to understand the power of praying differently. You gotta speak differently. God, I want this, I wanna I wanna I wanna stop this business, God. But I ain't got no money. I said I was going to start it up when taxes came, God, but you know, you know, I got to catch up on my bills and I got to do this and I had to do that. Uh, uh No. God, it's me again. You already know I want this business and I know I said I was going to put money over here, but it didn't go that way. So God, can you please send somebody for me to connect with to help me? God, can you please send great money? God, can you have somebody help me start up that LLC? God, can you put me connected to people who going to push me into my purpose? You got to be specific with your prayers. Am I helping somebody tonight? Am I helping somebody tonight? Who am I helping tonight? God say I'm here for it. But baby, you ain't specific enough. Some of y'all praying too small. You praying for an apartment and God trying to give you a house. You praying for section A and God saying you don't need it. He got something way bigger in store for you. Come on. Who I'm speaking to. After tonight, I want you to pray differently. 
After tonight, I want you to be more specific with your prayers. It's not by coincidence. It's, it's 1140 p.m. at night where we are, people of God, and everybody's supposed to be asleep, but you up watching this. God is saying just be a little bit more specific with your prayers and watch him work. Come on. Come on, watch him work. Do you believe the things that I'm saying out of my mouth? Do you believe? Oh, Jesus. Somebody ought to put, I believe. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe. This thing is virtual. So we can only come in agreement by your comments and your heart. Hit hearts. Come on, likes. Comment. I believe, I believe. Keep commenting it back to back to back until it hits your household. Comment, I believe, back to back to back till it hits your bank account. Come on, come in, I believe. Back to back to back to watch this. Jesus, see your name come across the screen. Because you're on God's to-do list. But it's going to require for you to be most specific. Come on. I know it's late at night. But when we were talking about Paul and Cyrus in the jail cell and how they got locked up, Jesus Christ. It said at midnight, there was a great shaking, an earthquake that came to free them from behind the cell. Jesus Christ. It said at midnight, they begin to shout. They begin to sing. They begin to praise God. And watch this. The enemy got to let them go. I know it's only 1140 p.m. right now. In 20 more minutes, it'll be midnight. Everybody is on different time zones. But I want everybody to sit there. Oh, Jesus Christ. I think, oh, Jesus. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I believe something is going to happen at 12 a.m. I want everybody to put at midnight. Come on. Put that thing in capital letters to put some power behind it. At mid. Oh, Jesus. Hold on, because I'm feeling. I'm feeling like, oh, Jesus. Hold on. I, I'm, I'm feeling I need to. I need to release something in the atmosphere. Y'all just hold on. Because I, I, I want to go into prayer very quickly. Come on. Just keep coming at midnight. Come on. Come on. Don't, don't lose your juju. That's the problem. Don't nobody want to pray no more. That's what we talked about this morning. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jesus. Come on. At midnight. Just hold on, y'all. Who Jesus. Rabababa koshiande. Roko Siande. Come on, come on, come on. At midnight. I'm believing God to do it at midnight. Watch this. After midnight tonight, mm, Jesus, I want you to take a moment. Whatever you're needing God to do for you at midnight tonight. If you are just now tuning in, remember I said, people of God. I said that God said, what are you asking me for? Meaning you're praying about the same thing over and over, but you're not specific enough. Come on, at midnight, I'm believing God to do it. We said James 4 and 2 says, you have not because you asked not. You've asked God, but you wasn't specific. Baby, let me tell you something. Every time my grandbaby, Jesus Christ, our favorite food is six-piece nugget McDonald's Happy Meal. She only four years old. Baby, let me tell you something. She'll ask me morning, noon, and night. Or if she wants some Oreo cookies and milk, she'll ask me morning, noon, and night. She don't care what time it is. She's specific with what she wants. God say, be a little bit more specific. Come on, come on, come on. Hold on. Oh, my, 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 Jesus. Oh, my, 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 Jesus. Come on, be specific. I'm just looking for me some, some war cry worship right now. Come on, I'm going to stay on and I'm going to pray with you. And I'm going to war with you. Come on, I'm going to war with you. Jesus Christ. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Y'all stay on. Stay on. See, this is what happened this morning. And we was able to go hard. Come on. Come on, this is what happened this morning. <clears throat> And we was able to go in. Oh, I'm coming back to the screen. I just got to get some music on. Listen, people of God. There's a war cry that's taking place. The Bible says at midnight, the shackles was broken off of their prisoners. All they did was shout it. All they did was scream. All they did was be specific in their worship. 
Tonight I'm asking you to be a little bit more specific. I'm asking you to be so specific. Come on, that you break chains. I'm asking you to be more specific. Come on, that you break everything. Watch this. The enemy stole from you. I'm asking that you be more specific. That you know that you know that God is going to come through like never before. Come on, this is a war cry prayer. This is a war cry prayer. Come on, this ain't going to be for the week on tonight. We about to go in. And as I asked early this morning, when I begin to pray, I ask the people of God to begin to walk through their homes. I ask the people of God to begin to walk through their homes. I said, take the phone and put it on speaker if you have to and begin to walk through your homes as I begin to pray. Let me tell you something. You got to be more specific. God said he can do it, but it's going to take for you to be more specific. As I begin to pray on tonight, I'm believing at 12 a.m. in the next 15 minutes, things got to change. I'm believing that in the next 15 minutes, God going to move through the IRS system. Debts are going to be released. Debts are going to be Jesus Christ. They're going to disappear. I'm believing, oh Jesus, I hear you, Holy Ghost. Income tax checks are going to start being approved. Come on, I don't know who this is for, but at midnight, you need everything the devil stole from you. I believe social security benefits are going to be approved. I believe, oh Jesus. Oh, come on, come on, there's a war cry. There's a war cry. Come on, you're going to get that approval from whatever you need to be approved for in the name of Jesus. Come on, I just need you to begin to put approved. Put approved, put approved. As we begin to get ready to pray. Oh, God. Have your way, Holy Ghost. God, I come in agreement with every person that's on live right now. I come in agreement with every person that's up this time of night. I come in agreement with every person that's going through on tonight. Father, I ask that you have your way. I ask that you have your way. We call you the way maker. We call you a healer. We call you a provider. We call you a deliverer. Father, do things only you can do. Throw your weight around their homes. God, I bind up broken families in the name of Jesus. God, I bind up confusion in the home in the name of Jesus. God, I pray for every person in their homes right now. Father, have your way. <coughs> Let me tell you, the enemy trying to hold my throat right now. But baby, we gonna go in. Father, as they begin to walk through their household, even if they are at work, God, I ask that Lord God, as they call out their children names, I want you to begin to call out your children and grandchildren names. As they begin, Lord God, to call out their children names, God, I ask that you protect them. Don't let them go through the things they went through. In the name of Jesus, God, I speak peace in the home. I bind up confusion. God, I pray for every child. Lord, lately, God, it's been the parents burying the children when it's supposed to be the children burying the parents. Father, protect our children. In the name of Jesus, God, I lift up every person that's struggling. Every person that got a smile like they financially got it. Every person that's living for the Joneses, God, but they really struggling behind closed doors. I lift them up right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare they are the lenders and not the bars. I decree and declare there will be no more lack. I decree and declare no more living paycheck to paycheck. I decree and declare no more overdrawn bank accounts. I decree and declare no more having to get paid in advance. I decree and declare, God, they got more than enough. Father, send an overflow. God, we say at midnight, blow their minds. At midnight, make unexpected deposits. At midnight, send out unexpected checks. At midnight, rest on their house, Jesus. At midnight, walk through their bank account, God. 
at midnight do something unexpected God because we know who you are God I pray for every person battling depression and suicidal thoughts God they smile as if Lord God they're good but really they're battling things in the back end I bind up fake smiles I bind up Jesus not having real joy and God you release your joy like never before I decree and declare they're happier than they ever been I decree and declare they're getting their strength back I decree and declare they're getting their joy back Father begin to move I ask oh God that every person has been depressed every person battling with depression Lord Jesus every person God Battling with suicidal thoughts. Every person battling with a spirit of feeling alone, God. Could you wrap your arms around them tonight? God, I ask that your spirit just hold them and shake them. Let them know they're not alone in this world. Let them know they can do all things through Christ that strengthens them. Father, right now, I pray for every man that's on live. I decree and declare they will be leaders in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare they're walking into their authority. I decree and declare they're walking into their peace. Father, their hands shall be blessed. I pray God for every father who's not being a father. Jesus Christ, Lord, allow the mother to not have to be mommy and daddy anymore. God, if the father won't step up, please send step daddy. I'm being specific with my prayers. Send a father figure, God, who can love them so they won't feel unloved, who can teach them so they will be better fathers to their children. Lord, we're being specific on tonight. Raise up a generation who don't mind praying anymore. God, you said at midnight, they begin to scream and shout and chains came off them. At midnight, God, there was an earthquake. There was a shaking that broke open the jail doors. So, God, anything the enemy has locked up over them, anything the enemy has stole from them, I decree double for their trouble. And, Father, to that business owner, Lord, I ask God that you send God people from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Send clients like never before. Let them not look, God, for family and friends to support them. God, you send out a new generation of people to support their business. In the name of Jesus. Come on, don't give up. We got about nine more minutes. Keep pressing Come on, because at midnight it's going down. Somebody put it's going down, it's going down, it's going down. Devil, you got to break up off of me. It's going down, it's going down, it's going down. Come on, I want to pray for that person who lost a child. Or lost somebody dear to their heart. And they're still angry with God behind it. Maybe you feel like God took the only person who ever genuinely loved you on this earth. Baby, I pray for your heart. Let go the unforgiveness. God does not make mistakes. Come on, break, 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 break. There's a breaker's anointing. Break, 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 break. Don't nobody want to pray no more. Y'all not specific enough with your prayers. Father, right now, I pray for the health of your people. I come against every spirit of back pains. I come against every stomach pain. God, I come against all these sexually transmitted diseases. I come against diseases, God, that they say there's no cure for. God, you're the curer. I pray, God, right now in the name of Jesus. I bind up spirit of having to take pills. I bind up a spirit of having to poke yourself to check your blood level. Watch this. Father, I ask that you move through the hospitals. Move through the retirement homes. Move, Lord God, like never before. God, touch the body of the ones God saying that the enemy is saying that the hospital is saying, the doctors is saying, there is nothing else they can do. I'm okay with that, God, because you're still in the miracle working business. Let them not give up. In the name of Jesus, their body is whole. We pray on tonight. Come on, we pray on tonight. 
God heal everybody. Come on, God heal everybody. God, we bind up migraines. We bind up arthritis. We bind up pain in the knees and in the legs on tonight, God. We ask that you have your way, God. Ramamamako satabashi ande Roko saya Ramakaya Reki andere Father have your way Come on there's nobody like God I want everybody to put I trust you Come on God say all you gotta do is trust me Mark 11 says uh, Whatever you ask for in prayer Be specific and it is yours Whatever you ask for in prayer Just believe it is yours Come on you deserve this I'm trying to war with you. You deserve this. I'm trying to war with you. Come on, you have not because you ask not. Be more specific. God, I ask, Lord God, that you release another realm of anointing. I ask, Lord God, that you release angels around them. I ask, Lord God, that you make a crooked way straight. God, everybody battling something different. But you are God that can be everywhere at all times. So I trust that you're moving. Somebody put move in the comments. Come on. I dare you to comment it seven times back to back to back. Move. Come on. Move. Come on. Come on. Move. Come on. Whatever mountain in your way. Move. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pull. Move. Come on. Whoever praying on your downfall. And God, we going to stay right there for a minute. I bind and break the back. Of every witch and warlock, I bind and break the back, God. Of oh, Jesus, Ramama Kete, I bind and break the back, God. Of every voodoo spirit, black magic and white magic, I bind and break the back, God. Of haters praying on their downfall, I bind and move, oh, Jesus. Come on, you should be coming and move, move, move. While I'm pulling the witches up off of you, I bind and break the back, God. I ask that their tongues, God, cling to the top of their mouths uh, before they begin to put their mouth on them again. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Uh, you ought to prophesy over yourself and just say, move, 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 move. Devil, back up off of me. Remove people from my life that shouldn't be there. Move, 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 move. Uh, the enemy better back up off of you. And the reason he better back up off of you, people of God, Rabbi is because the jail cell about to break open. Everything the enemy has held captive, all of your prayers, all of your peace, uh, all of your joy. Uh, the Bible says that at midnight, uh, there was a shaking and a pressing at midnight. Uh, come on, things begin to break uh, at midnight. Come on, things begin to shift uh, and everything was released. Uh, you better hear what I'm saying to you. We got about three more minutes to midnight. I'm asking you to push on tonight. I believe God is birthing something big. He's birthing something amazing tonight. All you got to do is have faith. All you got to do is receive it. God said he been hearing your prayers, but you ain't praying specific enough. He said he's been hearing your prayers, but you ain't praying specific enough. God, I ask that you do the things they are needing you to do. God, we're in the month of June. The last, the first six months, God, may have been hell, but the last six months, God, is about to be the best six months of their life. I prophesy in that atmosphere. You ought to put the best in the comments. You ought to comment that thing back to back. If you feel it in your spirit, Jesus, if you feel it in your your soul. Uh, you want to put that in the comment section. The best. Come on. The best. The best. The best. The best. I went through a lot the first six months, uh, but 2023 got time to be good to me. The best. The best. The best. Come on. We got about two more minutes to midnight. And when midnight come, people of God, when I begin to tell you it's midnight, because I'm watching on my clock Eastern time. I want you to go crazy like you done lost your everlasting mind with comments. Whatever you need God to do, I want you to put in the comment section. I want you to drop your kid's name. I want you to drop your loved one's name. I want you to drop down the word court date if you fight in a court case. 
I want you to drop down deliverance from drugs. If you battling drugs, tonight you gotta be specific. You gotta expose that thing. That's the problem. You wanna pray to God, but you wanna hide what you're going through. Tonight, baby, you gotta let it go. At midnight, come on, we got about one more minute left. For another 60 seconds, I need you to push. I don't want you to put it all in one comment. I want you to comment back to back to back. So we can, oh Jesus, cause a stampede in the spirit. So we can let the enemy know, baby, we on one accord. So we can let the devil know that the, the army is here. No man left behind. We all standing in agreement together. Standing in agreement together against whoever coming against you. Come on, just 30 more seconds. When I say it's 12 a.m., at 12 a.m., come on, the prisons begin to shake. At 12 a.m., come on, the earthquake hit and everything was released. Whatever you need God to release. Whether it's your finances, your relationship, or your children. Whether it's your health, your business, come on. Or, or your emotions. Whether it's the anger in your heart. You better get ready to release it. I want you to comment like never before. Come on, 10 more seconds. I want you to comment like never before. Come on, back to back to back to back. Whatever it is. Don't worry about nobody seeing it. Because it's a bunch of people on here. Comment like you lost your everlasting mind. Back to back to back. Come on, 10. Oh, Rababa Shaya. 9, 8. Come on, 4, 7, 6. Rababa Kosete. Rababa Kosataba. 5, 4. Roko Baba Shieti. Rakaba Sotapa. Rapibeki Shiande. I break the back of the enemy. Come on. 3. Come on, Baba Kosa. 2, 1. Come on. Start commenting. Break, 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 break. Whatever you need in God to break. Uh, whatever you need in God to release on tonight. Whatever the enemy has held captive. At 12 o'clock, the cells begin to shake. Uh, at 12 o'clock, uh, they were released. Uh, at 12 o'clock, uh, the enemy got to turn them loose. Uh, devil, let it go. Release their money. Uh, release their health. Uh, release their relationships. Uh, release their children. Release their business. Uh, release their jobs. Uh, release it in the name of Jesus. Uh, break, 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 break. Come on, back to back. Come on, back to back, baby. You ain't got to type a lot. Come on, I said back to back, Shalina. Don't put it all on one line. Comment job. Then comment again, car fix. Come on, then comment again, uh, health. Come on. I, come on, come on. Come on, don't put it on one line. I said we called in a bombard. Come on, in the name of Jesus. Come on, court cases are being won. In the name of Jesus. Rababa Kosaya. Rababa Kosaya. God throw your weight around God throw your weight around Let's go Let's go it's 12 o'clock Let's go Let's go you want it war for it You want it decreeing Somebody ought to say I want it Baby I'm in agreement with your house I see somebody say multiple businesses Somebody said, move the dark cloud. Move the witch that's on your back. Move the spirit that's destroying your sleep. Some of y'all haven't had good rest in forever. You haven't dreamed in forever. Because the enemy's riding your back. I say a change after tonight. Come on. Release it. Break, 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 break. God released the books. Break, 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 break. God, release the homes, release the cars, release it in the name of Jesus. Break, 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 break. Have your way, God. Have your way, God. God say, y'all been asking me, but you haven't been specific with your prayers, baby. You got to dig a little deeper. Don't just ask for it. Be specific with how you need it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Stop at their homes tonight. God, if they on a job, stop at their jobs tonight. In the name of Jesus. Ramamama Kosata. Rakabashiani. Rokosaya. Ramama Koshe. Rekiande Reboko. Ramama Kosaya. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it. Come on, I'm in agreement with you to finish school. Come on, I'm in agreement with your child for schooling. Come on, keep dropping what you need God to do. I'm in agreement for your marriage. I'm in agreement for your healing. I'm in agreement for loans to be paid. Come on, I'm, I'm in agreement for God to get rid of the procrastination. Come on, I'm in agreement. Come on, the roof is going to be prepared in the name of Jesus. God send funding that they don't even have to pay back. Come on, your boyfriend finances. God, as you do it for her boyfriend, do it for everybody else's. And I speak marriage in the atmosphere. You ain't just somebody's girlfriend. Come on, break, 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 break. Break, 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 break. Come on, delivery from Paul J. Oh, Jesus, baby. That baby specific. It's something about a bad soul tie. Some of y'all need to be specific like her. Since put a first name and a last initial. You know how you tied to that thing and you know it mean you no good, but you just can't let it go, baby. Come on, break, 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 break. Break it. Be specific with your prayers on tonight. Be specific, be specific. Be specific, be specific. Come on, break it. Come on, back to back to back. Back to back to back, I see drug addiction, break it. Come on, at 12 a.m., it was broken in the name of Jesus. Come on, a godly marriage, I'm in agreement with you. Come on, Southwest, I'm in agreement with you. Come on, God, have your way. Have your way, a 26 year soul time. God, we break it from the root in the name of Jesus. Come on, mom, being sick. Somebody's addicted to pain medicine. God allow it to taste like dirt in their mouths. Come on, I'm here with you, baby. Let's walk it out. Y'all ain't doing nothing but upsetting the devil. Send the card to Sharon in the name of Jesus. God, send the wife that you got for him or them. In the name of Jesus. Come on, break the spirit of cigarettes. Come on. I see a toxic relationship. Break it in the name of Jesus. Have your way. Have your way. Come on, daughter, we'll be pregnant in July. I'm in agreement with y'all. If y'all see me looking back and forth, I'm on TikTok and I'm on Facebook. Let me tell y'all something. God is doing some specific things in this season. He's a specific God. So I'm um, again, come on, I come against that. The sickness that's on you. I come against that spirit of marijuana. Come on. I see y'all over on TikTok. Come on. I come against that spirit of being a people pleaser. I come against that narcissist spirit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Debt free. I'm in agreement with y'all. Come on. Release of your boy's father from jail at 12 a.m. They were released. I'm in agreement with you, Kelly. Roko Satabashiande. Ramako Shiande. Chambre, may God send all the loyal friends you Rabako Siande need. Ramamako Siande. Come on, first, first millionaire in the family. I'm in agreement with you, Tamika. May God place the right people around you to get you there. Listen. I'm not saying that you're not praying. I'm saying that God. Say, be more specific, Sade. Immediately, I'm in agreement with you for that settlement. Immediately, it's being released to you in the name of Jesus. Come on. If anybody else is in the, in the middle of a settlement, I want you to put settlement down below. It's working for your favor in the name of Jesus. If anybody need income tax to be released, I want you to comment the word income tax below. In the name of Jesus. Ramama Kosiande Rababa Kosiande Rama Kosiande Rekiande I just heard the Holy Spirit say you'll get the phone call in the morning Rabba I don't know who's waiting on a phone call Rakashiande Rekiande But God is saying the phone call is coming in the morning If you're waiting on a phone call I want somebody to put phone call Praying they release your disability Come on, 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 come on. Come on, just a little bit more, you guys. I gave a message, people of God, at the beginning of this live, and we're ending it with prayer. 
But I want you to remember something James 4 and 2 say, you have not because you ask not. You ain't asking specific enough. Thank y'all for all the gifts on TikTok. I love y'all so much. Come on, I want you to put phone call. Come on, I don't care what it is. If you waiting on a phone call back from a job or you waiting for a phone call, you know, for, for, for that man or woman in your relationship you've been praying for, I, I don't know. You wait from a phone call from your children? I don't know. Come on, the Bible says, though, that at 12 a.m. things begin to shake. That's why I wanted to make sure we prayed all the way out to 12 a.m. I want somebody to put in the comment section, amen. Come on, back child support is being released in the name of Jesus. Come on, it's okay to say it. Y'all around here being embarrassed, man. Whatever you need God to do, you better do it while the water's stirring. That's the problem. You're trying to fight all these battles on your own, baby. And it's wearing you down. No. God is doing something. He's doing something amazing. You know, when I'm selling people houses, people of God, so many of my clients, I have to uplift along the way. When they want to give up, when they want to get in. But baby, let me tell you, I'm, I'm a different type of realtor, baby. I'll be walking through houses, praying with them, encouraging them. They be crying, all kind of stuff. Man, listen, you'll never be ready to step out and do something that's bigger than what you can see. Especially if you're the first person in your family to buy a home. I don't know who need to hear that. But that was for you. God said, now the time is to buy. Now is the time to buy. Now is the time to buy. Do it afraid. But now is the time to buy. Listen, people of God. I believe that God has had his way on tonight. And let me tell you something. I don't believe that God makes mistakes. No. He, he, he's just not a God to make mistakes. He, he don't operate that way. He don't. He don't operate that way. He don't move that. Ramakosiande. At, oh Jesus. At, oh Jesus. At midnight. God is going to do it if you believe that he'll do it. At midnight. God is going to do it if you believe that he will do it. I want everybody to put at midnight. Come on, put at midnight, at midnight. Come on, very quickly. At midnight. Come on, who am I speaking to? At midnight. Oh, God. We're sowing an at midnight seed. In the name of Jesus, watch this. I'm going to challenge your faith right now. And I don't want you to sow unless God is leading you to sow. But we're going to sow in increments of 12. You can sow it in increments of 21. You can sow $12. You can sow $112, $212. But we're going to begin to sow. And watch this. Praying ask God should you give. The phone number is pinned to the bottom. 754. Come on, somebody on TikTok. I need y'all to put this in the comment section. This phone number, 754-246. 0580. This is for Cash App. This is for Chime, Zelle, PayPal, Venmo, 754-246-0580. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, it's pinned to the top on TikTok. If you are, I see people saying, please sew for me. Come on, if God is leading it in your heart to sew. I want you to put in the memo section at midnight as you begin to sew. 754-246-0580 at midnight. At midnight. Watch this. As you begin to do at midnight, as you begin to sew it, if you're sewing via cash app, I want you to put the full phone number in 754-246-0580 until you see Dr. Shakira M pop up. Dr. Shakira M put in the full phone number because they made fake cash out to me. But I want you to put in the memo section at midnight. At midnight. Come on. This is for Cash App. This is for Chime. This is for PayPal. This is for Venmo. Come on. At midnight. 
0580. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much on TikTok. And as you begin to, to, uh, to sow, I want you to comment, I sold. Come on, you ain't gotta lie. If you sold, you sold. Some of you say, Evangelist Shakira, I don't have it. The cash app is gonna be Dr. Shakira M when it pops up. Come on, y'all keep dropping that phone number in the comments for me on TikTok. 754-246-0580. I'm saying give in faith tonight. Come on, Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, Venmo. You can sell $12. You can sell $21. Come on, I just wanted to be a one and a two in there somewhere. Come on, you can do $112. You can do $212. Come on, some of you are sewing for you and everybody in your household. Come on, some of you are sewing for you and, and other people you connected to. Come on, sew what you have. Come on, I want you to put in the memo section at midnight. At midnight. At midnight. Rabamako Shiande. Roko Samamama Shiande. Rabamako Shiande. At midnight. Rabamako Shete. Roko Satabashi Ande Reki Ande. Come on, you guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. God is up to something. Come on, God is up to something. Jesus Christ. 754-246-0580. Come on, that was for Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, or Vimo. You, some of you, y'all know. Y'all know though. <laughs> y'all know that, you know, y'all need to be sewing. Y'all know that y'all need to be sewing. Some of y'all say, you know what? I don't have none of those ways to give. Can you send me an invoice? It's the same phone number. Text 754-246-0580. Text that number, the word invoice with your email and the amount you want me to request. Come on, I said, Jada, you paying attention, baby. Come on, text. Text, 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 text. You can text 754-246-0580. Then Chanel, step out on faith, baby. She say, I need to be so and then so do whatever is in your heart. Give according what's in your heart. Some of you say I'm going to sow uh, $12 for every issue I got. So you sowing 12 times five. You sowing 12 times 75. I'm saying trust God. I'm saying trust God. Come on. I feel like there's an anointing on T King's life. Come on. Can somebody put a seed in the ground for her? I want you to put T-E-E-K-I-N-G in the comment section with at midnight. Come on, could I get you to sow? Could I get you to sow? Mighty God. Could I get you to sow? Come on, we, we just a little bit more. There's, God, he, he, he pulling on some of y'all hearts a little bit more. Come on, Lisa Knox, say, could you sow for me? Come on, if you can sow for somebody. I want you to put their name in the comment section. Drop the comments and say, I'll sew for you. Please don't put it unless you're doing it for real because people are depending <clears throat> on these seeds to, <clears throat> excuse me, move for them. If you can sew, Mary uh, Sherrod said, sew for me. If you can sew for somebody, I want you to just put in the comment section, I can sew for and put their name. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, Kim. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. If you are somebody who sold on tonight, I want you to come in. I sold. Listen, you guys, follow me on YouTube at Shakira McFatten. Follow me on Instagram at Shakira underscore the realtor. Follow me on TikTok at Evangelist Shakira. If you sold already, I want you to comment below. I sold. I sow. There's a lot of people who jumped off and sowing. God bless you, Kornika. Come on, comment. I sold. I sold. God bless you, Royal Jade. Say, I sold for Mary. God bless you, sis. Come on, Janae. God bless you for your seed. Come on, some of you say, I don't have it to give. Come on, God bless you, Kira, for your seed. Some of you say, I don't have it to give. <clears throat> 
Shanta Jackson say, this is the first time I'm asking somebody to sew for me. My God. Come on, sew for me. I gave my last to a girl who needed a ride. It was 12. Wow. That's your confirmation number. Come on, come on, come on. Some of you have sold by just simply tagging and sharing. Oh, Jesus. Pray and ask God, should you give for somebody else tonight? Lakita, God bless you for sowing. God bless the ones who don't have it to give, but really wanted to give. Listen, I love you guys so much. Remember, the Cedar Mountain night was 754-246-0580 was the phone number. And that was for Cash App, Chime, PayPal, and Venmo. You can also text 754-246-0580, your email, the amount you want me to send you an invoice for with your email, and I can send you an invoice to pay. God bless you, Deidre, for sowing your seed. Come on, Royal J, God bless you for sowing your seed. Mighty God. Double for your trouble, the woman of God who said they sold for Mary. I see Mary saying thank you. God bless you, DeAndrea. God bless you, Tika, for sowing. God bless you, Naya Perry, for sowing. Listen, I love you guys. God bless you guys. Tune in in the morning. It's about to go down.